Hello and welcome to the Tangible Day YouTube channel. My name is Andrew and I'm here to share with you my love of miniature painting, tabletop gaming, and a bit of anything else that I find interesting. So let's get started. Why Vallejo Model Air Metallic Paints? Using metallic paints for realistic effects on miniatures. Metallic paints are an awesome way to quickly create realistic effects on miniatures. However, there are many different brands of metallic paint to choose from, and not all of them are created equal. My personal favorite is Vallejo Model Air Metallics, as they offer great coverage when used with either an airbrush or a regular paintbrush. When you're painting with metallic acrylics, I recommend avoiding using expensive sable brushes, as the metallic content can degrade these brushes pretty easily. Instead, I recommend using cheaper brushes, not Kalinsky sables, but just use simple synthetic brushes, which aren't expensive to buy in bulk. See the supplies I recommend for painting with metallics in the description below. So here are some tips for how to use metallic paints. You'll want to start with a surface primer like Vallejo Surface Primer. I dispense some of it in the ceramic dry palette. I apply it in thin layers, like so. It's a fairly quick process. It's pretty fun. Don't worry about making a mess, you're going to paint over it anyway. To speed up the drying process, I use a hair dryer. This makes the whole process very quick. It's important not to thin any metallic paints when painting miniatures as they can lose their character quickly when dissolved in art mediums. This also means don't use a wet palette with metallics if you can avoid that too, because the metallic paints on a wet palette will just thin out automatically over time and mess up everything. But that's just my experience. But then again, that's also why I like Vallejo metallic paints, it's because they're already thin enough to use straight out of the pot. To use metallic paints, dip the brush into the paint, then apply it to your miniature in thin layers rather than thick ones. This helps keep detail, and it's especially important for metallic paints as they tend to be thicker than regular acrylic paint. Once the paint is dry, you can add another layer. To speed up the process, of course, you can use a hair dryer. And when you're done with that, you can move on to the next step. Here, we'll apply a Citadel wash, non oil, and this will increase the contrast on the metallic paint, pulling up those details. And this actually helps you get that realism on your miniatures with the metallic paints. After that darkening wash, you'll want a dry brush to bring back some of that metallic sheen you lost during that wash step. I use the Army Painter dry brush for a lot of this. To do this, you dip the brush in the paint, and then you dry the bristles on a clean piece of paper. And you lightly brush over the metallic surface lightly to pull up some of that highlights that you lost after applying that Citadel wash. You might want to do this a couple times. For added special effects, you can do things like light rust, painting that on in light layers to add a bit of color and, and interest to your metallic surface. And to speed up that process, you can hit, use a hairdryer again. And it's all done. Vallejo Model Air Metallic Paint. One of my favorites. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this quick video review, let me know. Subscribe, like, and thanks for watching.